Hey, what's up, YouTube land? It's your boy, Eddie Hill, the White Oak, Pennsylvania Toy Collector. And it's a new review week. It's Sunday. And today, we'll be reviewing a really cool item from Legacy. But before that, it's time for another Eddie Hill review. It's review time. People. And today... Viewing Transformers Legacy Galvatron. And he is an epic space cannon. Why not? Because we needed a proper Galvatron for so long. Titan's Return wasn't half bad. Legacy is the best continuity of Galvatron, by my opinion. But before we transform him, let's get down to some vehicle mode comparisons. Here we got Cyclonus and Titan's Return Scourge. I will be doing another video with Titan's Return Scourge because I got him a Target Master straight off Amazon. So he's going to have some Target Master power. And he will be reviewed with a Target Master. Add it on to them. But now, we're going to get down to transformation, which is very simple. Disconnect his big cannon. It's two pieces. This one, right here. We put them together, forming his fusion cannon of murder death. Disconnect these. These do form a gun of sorts, but I'm not a fan of it. See what I mean? But in otherwise, it looks like the ship from Transformers the movie, Galvatron's personal ship. And I like that about these. So you can say he's got a fleet of ships. But now we're going to get down to transformation. Shall we? Let's. <laughs> okay, we're going to disconnect these. Like so. Fold this up, like so. Disconnect this section right here, like so, if I can get it to work here. Fold these up, like so. Rotate these around to form his legs, Galvatron's legs. There's one leg all done. Second verse, just like the first. And now we're going to rotate his upper body, fold this back, fold this to his back, like so. A lot of fun transforming here on this channel, and then we fold this to form his, his backpack. Mm -hmm. Now we fold these up to form his shoulders, a very clean transformation, if I do say so myself. And it looks just like Transformers the movie, Galvatron. Straighten these out, fold these back, unpeg his arm, fold out his hands. Second verse, just like the first, fold this tread down, Fold his arm out, flip out his hands, and we're going to turn on the light so we can see his eyes. And man, this is a good-looking Transformers Legacy Leader Galvatron. But before we get on to comparisons, give him his Matrix of Leadership he stole from Magnus. You could say... He's going to get stealing, stolen from him by Hot Rod. If I ever get Rodimus, I'll have him stealing that from Galvatron's neck. And that's Legacy Galvatron in his robot mode. But yes, these ships form a double barrel blaster. I'm going to show that off so you guys don't think, oh, I'm not showing off the double barrel blaster. Here it is. He's got the railgun ship blaster. But I don't like it at all. So 
That's how I'm going to display him because I don't like it at all. Not a big fan of that. Otherwise, a good-looking robot. Now, for comparison, here is who he was before in Transformers the movie. Megatron, reincarnated, was reincarnated by Unicron as Galvatron, reformatted. So, yeah, he's back as Galvatron. That's his other self in the past. But here is the original Universe Classics, Reveal the Shield, Galvatron. I don't like this so much. As much as the other ones. But now we're going to get down to Transforming Scourge and doing the final comparison of the day. Galvatron and his sweeps. His sweep and Cyclonus here on the shelf. Or Scourge. You could say either one. But Scourge is what I'm going to call him until I get some more Scourges for sweeps. So, yeah. So, a very simple, basic transformation. But a lot fussing with his robot mode is really good. And it's not bad for Titan's Return Scourge. But here we got Galvatron's loyal servant Scourge. And we're going to do a comparison with his second in command, Cyclonus. I am going to be buying the Kingdom Cyclonus next month since i didn't find it at ollie's so i will buy that and then i'll get blaster and then i'll have every one i wanted from kingdoms except for inferno and then tracks because i'll have warpath as well so he'll be reviewed so i'm going to be doing some generation two transformers why not and the legacy the uh, kingdoms gal Galvatron, not Kingdoms, but Legacy slash Kingdoms Galvatron looks really good. I probably wondered, why didn't I pick this guy up when he first came out? Well, he was a bit pricey. I was going to get him for Christmas from the Generation Selects. As you know, if I got my bonus with a gift card, but I didn't get him, which was the real letdown here on this channel. That I didn't able to get what I want. So, yeah, I am going to get that Transformers Target Master to go with Scourge. And about King Kingdom's Warpath, I will be getting him for next month. So I will be doing Transformers Kingdom's Leader Class, not Leader Class, Deluxe Class Warpath. And this is Transformers Legacy slash Kingdoms Deluxe Class Galvatron. All right, I've had a lot of correction moments. I'm just really tired, so I'm getting real confused with my autism today. Is a Transformers Legacy Galvatron worth adding to your Season 3 Transformers collection? Yes. I highly recommend you pick this guy up. He is worth the money. But if you can't get this one, get the Generation Selects Galvatron. Because it's cheaper. But this one ain't half bad. And I'm so glad to have it in my collection. And that's all there is to say for this review. If you like this video on Legacy Leader Galvatron, and you want to look at the other figures I reviewed in the past, definitely look at Scourge, look at Cyclonus. Because I did review these. And I will be getting the Legacy Cyclonus so I can have the second version of Cyclonus. But I am getting the Target Master for Scourge so I can show him off with his Target Master. Now we're done with this video. Make sure to like, make sure to comment, and don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this. 
Steady Hill, moving on, and rock on and rock out, YouTube land.